Hey folks, welcome back here to the Vegas Don channel. We are here in the shadow of the Strat, right here off of Bob Stupak Avenue and the Las Vegas Strip, the beginning of the Las Vegas Strip. Here on a Saturday night, we're gonna go ahead and make this right onto Las Vegas Boulevard. And that light did not last green for very long at all. The Boulevard Boutique Apartments. Shoot a machine, machine gun at Strip Gun Club. El Mirador Motel. Some politician up there asking for people to vote for them so they can do absolutely nothing. Sorry about that, I'm just not very fond of politicians. The world's largest gift shop right there. Bonanza. Right, there, right here on the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Sahara Avenue. Finally got the green light here at Sahara Avenue. There is the Sahara, Las Vegas. Noodle Den, Chickie and Pete's Crab House and Sports Bar. As well as the Las Vegas Strip directly in front of us here. Continuing southbound on the Las Vegas Strip on a Saturday night, a Saturday evening, approaching 6 p.m. This is the Fountain Blue over here on our left, a project that began back in the early aughts and then was suspended back in 2007, I believe, and it's just been sitting there and they finally opened it up last year here. You can see the top of it up there. Read a lot on social media about it. Uh, they have a restaurant in there where someone bought uh, nachos. They had four nacho chips for 24 bucks, so that was six bucks each. <laughs> Finally got the green light here. Seeing a whole bunch of bikes down here, motorcycles tonight. I'm curious if there's some sort of event going on in town. I haven't read anything about it. Resorts World right there on the right, up ahead, right behind Circus Circus. One of the oldest remaining hotel casinos, Circus Circus is. Looks like we got the green light, whatever road this is up here that's been holding everyone up. Elvis Presley Boulevard. Circus Circus. Oh, and we're going to need to get over because people are turning left there. Not sure if there is enough room for us. Circus Circus Food Court. All the traditional staples, it looks like. There for that food court. Come up here. There's the Deuce. We've uh, talked about the Deuce before. It is a uh, county run bus that uh, runs up and down the strip between the strip and Fremont Street and I think it's like eight bucks for a 20 or four, 24 hour pass or something like that I read and so it's a it's a viable option you do not want to try and walk honestly 1.8 miles between the strip and uh, Fremont Street that's not something that you'd want to try pulling off so um, please do take a look and research into uh, the deuce as a viable alternative to say walking or even Uber. So we come up to the light here at the convention center. See some shopping over here. Ross, if you forgot your outfit for the nightclub. We have a Ross here. We got the green light here finally at the convention center. Car still says 92 degrees on this Saturday afternoon. Kevin Hart add up there. Tacos El Gordo. There's the Encore, accompanied by the Wynn, of course. This is Genting Boulevard. And all the shopping, the associated shopping here. We're gonna go ahead and get around this taxi. Encore Beach Club. Gianos, the Capitol Grill, they're all there at the Fashion Show Mall. As you look up at the wind right there. Seeing a lot of Florida plates here. It's like a trend. I know they've been saying Florida's full, <laughs> telling people to go ahead and leave and get out of Florida, but. 
we're, we don't have a lot of water here. <laughs> we keep having to ration our water and uh, avoid water waste, especially in our yards. Finally got the green light here at Sands Avenue in front of the Palazzo and the Venetian. And then of course you have the uh, sphere behind both of those. a great place to take in the sphere if you're on the east side of the Palazzo or Venetian. There is Treasure Island, one of the very few if not only strips, uh, strip casino resorts that is still offering free parking. You, uh, they, they charge down like, like 50 bucks right now down on Fremont Street to park on a weekend evening. So <laughs> free parking is a luxury. We finally got the green light here at Palazzo Drive and Sirens Cove Boulevard here in front of TI, formerly Treasure Island. There's the Mirage where soon a huge guitar will be built, Guitar Hotel. And there is the Venetian with Hot Harris right next to it. Uh, the Guitar Hotel is going to look just like the one in Hollywood, Florida there at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino downtown, or down in... Um, Hollywood, Florida, in between Fort Lauderdale and Miami. Forum shops right there, attached to Caesars. There's Harrah's, Caesar Palace right there on our right. And uh, you wanna get around from the billboard trucks because they're not gonna drive very fast. They're trying to get people, they're trying to get eyeballs. So they don't really care about how, how fast they're getting, they're getting to their, wherever it is they're going. Show you more of Caesar Palace here, the Cosmo, and Julius himself standing out in front. Finally got the green light here at Caesar Palace Drive, and um, there's a reason we're all stopping. Okay, so yeah, there is Caesar's. And then there is the Flamingo, one of the oldest remaining hotel casino resorts here on the Strip. Not sure what uh, we're all stopping back here for. I'm gonna go ahead and get around these vehicles here. Cromwell right there. Uh-oh, this lane turns right. And that's a problem. We'll get behind the food truck. friendly taxi cab drivers there. Mega Mart. I'd rather be tracking anomalies, it says there. Is this a lane? Yes, it is. Um, these folks are all, looks like they're turning into the Bellagio. And I don't see the fountains going right now. I think they actually start it in the evenings, maybe? But there is the Bellagio all of its glory. And there is Paris in the Eiffel Tower, a miniature, one half miniature of the Eiffel Tower here out in front of Paris. Beer Park there at Paris as well. I've heard a lot about it, haven't been there. A lot of the locals don't tend to come down to the Strip very much just because it's of this, the traffic and congestion and all that. And it's, uh, it can be pretty stressful for some folks. And we got a red light here. So we'll stop here. Beauty in Essex. Aria, Cosmopolitan, and Planet Hollywood over here. On our left. And Jeff Dunham. Bellagio Drive. And there again is the Eiffel Tower, the one-half size replica 
of what is located in Paris. We've got the green light here finally in front of Bellagio Drive. And we're going to go ahead and uh, we've got some pedestrians looking for Deathwish here, jumping in front of traffic. I'm going to go ahead and get over here. Planet Hollywood Miracle Mile shops right there. Come up to the light here at Harmon. You can see Planet Hollywood right there. And looks like we got the green here at Harmon. As we continue southbound. On Las Vegas Boulevard, aka the Strip. That is Harmon East. Polo Towers there. And there's the Crystal Shops, Louis Vuitton, Tom Ford, Tiffany and Company, etc. Dolce and Gabbana. So we pass over Aria Place here. The Hawaiian, the former Hawaiian marketplace is being reconstructed into something else right now. There's Park MGM, which was formerly Monte Carlo. And they of course changed that name. And you've got uh, more shopping over here on the uh, left, and then Park MGM's Italy concept, dining concept there. And New York, New York, and MGM Grand directly ahead of us. There's a standalone Walgreens right there. So uh, you don't need to necessarily buy the overpriced liquor in your hotel room or even the hotel's gift shop, you can come down to uh, Walgreens. Or CVS, of course, they have the CVS's too. And here come some daredevils on these. They have a dirt bike. They're on these little, look like 50cc bikes. No lights, no signals, no tags, no nothing. We saw them go down Sahara earlier when we were sitting at the light. There is New York, New York, and the Brooklyn Bridge replica. And there's an ambulance going the other way. bikes are unpredictable and there's a bunch of them there's still a whole bunch of them here behind us too and we cross over the light here at Tropicana Avenue and I think most of them can't go more than 30 miles an hour I think I believe they're like little 50 cc bikes Excalibur over there, Mandalay Bay, and the Luxor, the Pyramid, and uh, the light doesn't seem to have dissuaded a lot of these little bikes. Money Boys Crew does not seem to have dissuaded a lot of these little bikes from uh, running through the red light there. You've got the Tropicana over here that is now closed. They're going to demolish it and build in its place a Major League Baseball park for the Oakland A's, which are soon to become the Las Vegas A's or Las Vegas Athletics. This taxi, I'm not sure what he's doing. And some real bikers here. EDC 2025 on that uh, cab there. EDC is, of course, Electronic Daisy, Daisy Carnival, Carnival, full of electronic music. And I don't know what is holding everyone up here. The bikers are something up here, I'm not sure. Special event ahead, it says. But with this big billboard truck in front of me, it's hard to tell what exactly that might be. Seek alternate route. Could be a concert, actually. Well, Mandalay Bay Road is closed. Could be a concert over at the Allegiant Stadium home, the uh, Raiders. Mandalay Bay there. And I'm going to go ahead and get behind a 
away from this billboard truck. You can see all the little mini bikes up there still. Finally got the green light here, Mandalay Bay Road. Um, the uh, little bikes, it's funny, they don't obey any other traffic rules, but they all stop at the red light. So that's funny. And there goes another one. Catching up with his buddies, it looks like. We've got some more coming up behind us too. They are living dangerously. mini bike crew it says there. This is quite the uh, spectacle down here on the Las Vegas Strip. Police activity over here on the right looks like it's just monitoring traffic or something. He's not paying any attention to these little mini bikes. Got some more mini bikes and a go kart. We've got a go kart back here. Whew, little go kart. No one can even see that guy. Goodness. And we got the green light here at Four Seasons Drive. Northbound here, head back north on the strip. There's the Luxor Nirvana Hotel right there, it says. And we've got a bunch of traffic up here turning right and left. And uh, there's the Luxor. Finally, got that disgusting Doritos ad off of it. I was just not a fan of that at all. Let's come back up here to Mandalay Bay road. And we got the green light here at Mandalay Bay Road, now heading back northbound towards Reno. Looks like our next light. There is the Luxor there with the sun beaming in behind it and the Excalibur there. And then of course the Tropicana that is uh, set to be imploded in uh, late 2024 they're saying. But the A's don't play here for another four years. Finally got the green light here. Got some more little bikes heading the other ways too. It <laughs> looks like they got broken up from the uh, rest of the pack or something. But uh, tram station, you can take the tram between Mandalay Bay and Excalibur, as well as Luxor. As we come up to the light now at Tropicana Avenue. And the MGM Lion out front, right there. And uh, traffic is a mess there. We have people trying to turn left there that uh, are blocking the eastbound lanes. And then you have New York, New York right there, the Statue of Liberty, which is one half the size of the one in New York if you take away the base, uh, is what I've read online. So. Um, still a pretty good, uh, accurate representation for sure. New York, New York, and then of course, Excalibur back that, that way. And MGM Grand with its Grand Lion out front. And all of its LED screens. I believe they're LED. Finally got the green light here at Tropicana. If history is any indication, we'll probably get hit by the next light directly ahead. That's usually the way it goes. <laughs> as you have New York, New York there, and the Brooklyn Bridge replica out in front, and then a huge Coke bottle, an M&M factory there, M&M World, I guess is what they call it, Hard Rock Cafe, and uh, Park MGM over here on the left, shopping here on the right, the crack shack it says there I made a mistake and left too way too much room in front of me there CBS over here on our left which is good for your uh, beverages adult or otherwise when you first come into town what's going on here 
but this is the former Hawaiian marketplace over here that is now all boarded up because they're building something new in there behind it. If you happen to know what it is they're building, go ahead and drop a comment in. I'm not sure. I've heard a lot of different stories and rumors, but uh, feel free to drop down a comment. I'd love to hear what uh, the latest is for that property. Here on a Saturday night on the Las Vegas Strip, and the traffic is brutal. The right lane seems to be moving, but you definitely, if you do rent a car here, and I don't, I don't know what, oh my goodness, for real? Wow. Wow. <sighs> There's Gucci, Dolce & Gabbana, there at uh, Crystal Shops. As we come up here to the Aria, and there are the crystal shops there, Louis Vuitton, Tom Ford, Tiffany, as well as the Veer Towers poking out the top behind those buildings, and then Planet Hollywood over here on your right. Cosmo right there on the left, right behind the Aria sign. And then the Paris Eiffel Tower peeking out from behind the Planet Hollywood sign up there on the right. And we finally got the green light here. Out in front of Crystal Shops. These three lanes look like they all turn left and they do. There's the Deuce again. The shuttle bus, if you will, that runs in between the Strip and Fremont Street. Eight bucks, I think, for 24-hour pass or something like that, so feel free to check that out. Have some police activity over here on the right. And, uh, not sure what is happening there. There's an ambulance up there on the right. Along with a fire truck. Out in front of Cabo Wabo Cantina. Continue northbound here on Las Vegas Boulevard, Paris Drive, and there's a great shot of the Bellagio. The fountains are not work, uh, not uh, on right now. They're not activated. I'm sure they work just fine. <laughs> and there is uh, Paris. Along with Caesar Palace right there. And the Bellagio. Beautiful building. Absolutely beautiful. It looks like we've got the green light up here. Horseshoe. Hotel and casino there. Giordano's ad right there. It is good pizza. I'll give him that. I'm a huge pizza nerd, so I love pizza. Go run around the town looking for pizza. There's Old Red right there. Never been inside there, so I can't say anything about it. So we come up to the light here at Flamingo Road. And we've got the green light here at Flamingo Road. There's the Cromwell right there. As well as Flamingo, again one of the oldest strip casinos, and Caesar Palace over there on the opposite side, pedestrian crosswalk connecting the two. Bugsy and Myers Steakhouse, no doubt, homage to Bugsy Siegel, one of the uh, catapults behind the Flamingo. Nobu Hotel located in there, Boutique Hotel located inside Caesar Palace. There's the Forum Shops, and there's the Link, Harrah's. As we come up to Siegfried and Roy Drive. And 
there's the front of the forum shops. Finally got the green light here at Siegfried and Roy. There's the Mirage where they're going to be building that uh, huge guitar hotel. A replica of which already stands down in Hollywood, Florida in front of the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino down there. Mirage was built in 89, so it's really one of the older, I mean, by today's standards, older uh, hotel casinos. Casino Royale right there. TI up here, one of the few, if not only, um, strip casinos that still offers free parking. maneuver your way through traffic. There's the Venetian right there on the right and then the Palazzo emerging up behind it as well as TI over here on the left and the Strat down there in the distance. And we finally got the green light here in front of Venetian and uh, the light here at Palazzo just turned green as well Hoping we might be able to make it through there. There's TI there. Oh my goodness, seriously. How did I allow that to happen? And there is the pirate ship out in front of TI. Senior Frogs, Gillies, Encore and Wynn as we approach Sands Boulevard, or Sands, Sands Road. Sands Avenue. It's hard to tell. And there is Fashion Show Mall over on the left there. As well as Encore and Wynn here. On the right, Maggiano's Italy restaurant. Been to the one out in Summerlin before. bunch of traffic turning right here at the Wynn Main Gate. And there's the Fashion Show Mall. Finally got the green light here out in front of the Wynn Main Gate. We've got a lot of folks here that are jamming it up because they are trying to turn into the South Park here for the Wynn. That is a mess down there. Goodness. As we continue northbound on the Las Vegas Strip, there is Resorts World, along with Con Conrad, Crockford's, Hilton, Brands, all in that building. And the Sphere is, of course, behind the uh, uh, Palazzo and Venetian. So if you stay on the east side, looking east on those uh, out of those hotels, you'll have a great shot of the Sphere. up to the convention center here. Oh my goodness. A pair of buses here. Causing everyone to get over. Carver Stake it says there. That's connected to Resorts World. Continue northbound now. Pink box donuts. Read a lot about read a lot about them. Haven't seen any. I haven't had any myself. There is a circus circus there again. One of the oldest strip casino hotels. So we come up to Elvis Presley Boulevard here. And there's a car upside down or on its front end, out in front of the Fountain Blue there. As we come up to Avenue Fountain Blue. And on the other side, it is Sky Las Vegas. Sky is that building there. We finally got the green light here at Avenue Fountain Blue. Continue northbound here. The Hilton branded hotel there. I believe that's a timeshare actually. Coming up on the Sahara, Las Vegas up here on the right. And on its left is, just beyond it, is the Strat, formerly known as the Stratosphere here in Las Vegas. Come up to Lisette Way. You can see the Sahara there. 
and its marquee out front. Got the green light here at the set. Finally get to move. Bonanza Gift Shop it says it uh, calls itself the world's largest gift shop up here on the corner. Please do check us out on our About Me and uh, take a look at our uh, memberships. We really have some terrific, exciting perks for folks out there. So please take a look at those and consider joining as a member. We really appreciate it. And we want to thank all of you so very, very much for joining. We appreciate all of you, each and every single one of you. Without you, we would not be here. So thank you so very much for being here. Please do like, follow, and subscribe as well. We really appreciate all of you. We'll see you again next time. And just remember, it is the journey.